Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Hey. It's back to watching video tutorials. I know. We're all sad. We had this nice long break and now we are back to doing school. Sorry. I'm sorry. Well, today's topic is... Inequalities is the topic today. Inequality. So when you think about that, what does that mean? I mean, you think about equal, so inequalities. What do you think? Not equal. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so anyway. Um, I'm just rambling right now. I miss you guys. I'm glad you guys are watching my video tutorials again. I get out a pencil, a piece of paper. We're going to take some notes. All right. So the topic is inequality. So what is an inequality? Well, up here I have written down. It's uh, where, t where you have two values that have a relationship to one another. They don't equal each other, but they have a relationship to one another. So you're like, well, when would you ever have that? Well, you know, an, e an equation is when you have two values that equal each other. For example, this could be an equation. An equation would be like seven plus three equals 10. That's an equation. You got two values that equal each other. Um, but here, you, an inequality would be something like this. Seven is greater than four. So you've got two values, seven and the other value, four. These two values, uh, they don't equal, but they have a relationship to each other. How does that go? Okay. Cause, all right, let's go. All right. So inequalities. Two values that do not equal each other, but they have a relationship to one another. So write that down. There are some symbols that you see when you're discussing inequalities. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. These might be two new symbols. You might not have seen these symbols, but when you draw the less than symbol and then the little line below that, that means, well, it's less than or it could equal to. Less than or could equal to. For example, um, if you want to get on a roller coaster, right? Like, uh, I remember I used to always take my daughters on roller coaster rides. And the, the number, the, the big number back in that time was 48 inches. If you're 48 inches tall or greater, then you could go on the ride. So the inequality expression would be, you would have to be 48 inches or greater or equal to, to go on the ride. So X, I, I probably should have written like this. Um, X, my daughter, Catherine, she's X, needs to be greater than or equal to 48 inches to go on the ride, the roller coaster ride. Okay, so if you, you, you're familiar with inequalities even though you don't go, oh, there's an inequality. Okay, let's say I saw, I saw 48 inches or bigger. Okay, uh huh. Um, here's a very important property to write down. If X it says this, if X is less than Y, then Y is greater than X. I know, it's not that complicated. If X is less than Y, then Y is greater than X. It just means you can flip it. You can just flip it. But when you flip this, the inequality has been flipped as well. Okay, so let's move on. How am I doing, guys? Am I doing all right? Okay. Um, so a lot of these statements, these are words that would, uh, in relationship of with the inequality that you have. So when you see something like greater than, you're either going to hear words more than, exceeding, above, or greater than, okay? So if I say, I could say, uh, let's not use seven. So here you could say eight is more than four, eight is exceeding four, eight is above four, eight is greater than four, okay? So these are, those are just expressions that you would use when you're describing greater than. Expressions that you would use when you're describing greater than or equal symbol, greater than or equal symbol. Well, you could say, so if you have like X is greater than or equal to four, you would say X is at least four. X is at least four. So it could be, the answer could be four, five, six, seven. You could say X is no fewer than four. 
the values, the minimum of four, uh, the values no less than four. So again, these are just words, expressions that you could use with each uh, inequality symbol. Um, here, the less than symbol, you can say fewer than, below, or less than. You don't have to write this down. Um, and then these statements you use for greater than or equal symbols. So if I have something that would be like this, I could say x is no more than 4. That could be a lot of answers. It could be 3. It could be 2. It could be 1. x does not exceed 4. x is at most 4. At most. Okay. That means it could still be less. And x, uh, x bottom is 4. That's kind of funny. That's a weird one. Okay. We'll just, just scratch that one out. Let's just not bother with that one. Okay. Moving on. Um, so translate each verbal, verbal phrase into an algebraic expression. So you guys are familiar when you see the stars. Go ahead and write or go ahead and copy this down and solve. So all I want you to do is change this into an inequality. So exa for example, I wrote this as an inequality. X is no more than 4. It's great, or it's no less than 4. So X is, yeah, no less than 4. X is greater than, I'm sorry, X is greater than or equal to four. So you could, so here, what I want you to do is just write this as an inequality, write this verbal phrase as an inequality, write this verbal phrase as an inequality. So try that. Um, and then the next thing is, you know, possible solutions. So when you have an inequality, you don't just have one solution, you have multiple a wide range of solutions. Um, and so what we're gonna just discuss is the possible solutions. So if you look at this one, x is greater than seven, which one of these could be possible solutions? Well, could it be A? No, because three is not greater than seven. Could it be B? Yeah, because nine is greater than seven. Could it be C? Is negative two greater than seven? No. Could it be D? Is seven greater than seven? No. Okay. Could it be E? No. One. He's not great. But sometimes, you, I mean, here I only have one answer, one possible solution. But in, often in inequalities, you have multiple, a lot of solutions. Okay. So you guys, again, press pause. Sorry about that. Uh, press pause after I bring this out and solve number four and five. And again, just <clears throat> write the problem down and write down the solutions. Could it be A? Could it be B? Could it be C? Could it be D? Okay. So here is 2 times what number is greater than 13? Could it be 8? 2 times 8. Is that, I'm sorry, I said greater than, is less than. 2 times 8, is that less than 13? 2 times 2, is that less than 13? 2 times negative 4, is that less than 13? Okay. And then circle the outcomes that would be correct. And the last thing I want you to do in a sentence or two is just explain the difference between an inequality and an equation. What's the difference? So here is an equation, x plus 3 equals 10. Here is an inequality, x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 10. So just write down a sentence or two. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. We'll discuss, we'll go in more depth about this topic tomorrow. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye now.